be making basics. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music owner of beat making basics and we're back again with another dope video if you're new to the channel please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you know when i post and go ahead and like and comment on the video if it helps you out in any way so what today's video is going to be about is making chords and melodies using the step recorder or the piano roll feature in logic pro 10 so basically we're going to be drawing in the melodies and the chords rather than playing them okay so um in order to get this going what we're going to do is create a new track you can go over here to new track the, this little plus sign create a software instrument empty channel strip okay um i already kind of created one but we'll do it from scratch here basically if you're new to the software at the very top left this little first box brings up your sounds and you can either select sounds from these different um you know categories right here or you can search for a sound but we're going to use a grand piano all right cool so now we had our track created and we have our sound that we're going to be using in there the next thing to do is to pull up the piano roll um, if you're new to logic basically you're just going to go up here to the scissors click on that that brings up the piano roll or you can push the letter p on your keyboard all right so now that we have our piano roll up and going here i want you to pay attention to this little mini piano right here and I just want you to take a look at some things here. Now, first of all, as you can see, there's different octaves. You can see by the number, the, the, uh, the letter C, like in the number after it. So C1, that's, that's one octave. Then you got another octave, C2. So I'll just... All right, so basically, depending on what type of sound you want, whether it's a lower or a higher sound, that's that's what that's this is the piano okay so how are we going to actually create notes is you're going to find out which note you want so you just click on the note first here let's say we're going to go with c and then you come over here to this workspace window or the grid okay and basically if you really look at it i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm doing this, by the way, by holding down option. And if you push up on your mouse or left or right, it will zoom in. Or you can do that on your trackpad. This is a little quick tip. But if you look right here, you see how where you see the black keys. This is highlighted right here, darker. And where you see the white keys, you basically it's a little lighter that where is where in the grid you're going to see the note okay so i'm going to bring it down a little bit more so now that you understand that you're going to push command to bring up the pencil tool and anywhere you want to get started you can just click there so we're going to start with c and i'm going to first show you how to build major and minor chords and from there i'm going to show you how to turn those chords into melodies so um chords are made up of three notes this as far as a basic chord you have a root note which is going to be the first note of your chord and then you have the other two notes all right in a major uh chord you're going to go up from the root note four half steps so a half step is basically the right the note that's right or the key that's right next to that note so for instance from c to c sharp that's a half step from c sharp to d that's another half step going and, and continuing on um, the only time it gets tricky is when you see two white notes. Those are still going to be half steps because that's the note that's right next to it. So let's just go up four half steps. So you go C, that's one, two, three, four. Okay. Hold down command, push on there. And then to complete the chord, you're going to go up three half steps from that note. So from E, one, two, three. All right. So when we, I'm gonna push enter, push space bar, that plays a C major chord, all right? Now, that's a major chord. Now let's talk about a minor chord. Simple as that. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do again is start with your root note. Click the root note right there. 
And then instead of going four half steps, you're going to go three half steps up. So from the root note, which would be C, it goes three half steps, one, two, three. And then from there, you go four half steps, one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and jump into now note lengths, because that's going to be important here. So basically, however long the note goes for, that's how long the chord is going to play. So for instance, if I take this highlight and drag it out, it's going to now play, this chord is going to play for this whole bar. So check this out. So depending on what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? It's going to depend on how short or long the notes are. So like, for instance, say you want to get something going, like some type of drop Dr. Dre type beat where he has like these short choppy chords, right? So I might just come over here. And then once you get the note lift you want, you can always copy and paste wherever you want. Use the playhead to just paste it anywhere on the grid. So like, say if I wanted every, right, like right there, you just copy it and I can paste it. Copy with command C, paste it with command V. Then I can just move with play here wherever I want to on the grid. So check this out now. And you can turn that into a beat, you know what I mean? Say you want it even choppier than that, just take the note length shorter. And then you can hold down option to drag this over some. You know what I mean? You can make it even shorter than that. All right. So you can get creative in that form uh, if you want. So the other thing we'll talk about is melodies. Basically, if you really think about it, melodies are made up of chords, okay? It's made up to the same notes as chords, you're just chopping them up. So um, in piano terms, that's basically saying that you're gonna arpeggiate those chords, meaning I'm gonna, instead of playing them all at once, I'm gonna make, play them at different points within the grid, all right? So say, take this C minor chord, instead of playing this like this, if I was to arpeggiate that, I would take this middle note, drag it up over here, and take this other note and drag it over here. Now it's arpeggiated. And now we're creating a melody. And so I can pretty much just do different, as long as I know these three notes, I can just pretty much do different melodies or throughout the, uh, the grid. Notice that I, even though I put two notes right here, I'm just still using these three notes. C, D sharp, and G. And you can take it and drag it over. I can even copy and paste this whole little section here and move the playhead over, push command C to copy this, and push command V to paste it. Let's check it out. All right, so that's just a pretty much a quick tutorial on how to make melodies and chords. Um, this course can get way more in depth, but I wanted to give you like a basics on how to do this. Um, really, if, if I wanted to, I can come over here and I'm just can start chopping up a real tote, dope little beat, throw a drum beat on that. And that's pretty much a, a beat right at that point. Let's check it out. I'm gonna throw a little beat on there real quick. Um, let's pick up one of these. And see, 
another thing, I mean, this is a really getting into a whole nother video, but cause drums and melody, uh, drum patterns and melody, melody are two different things, man, but they're really kind of the same. You're still going to be drawing notes in. You're still going to have to, you're going to have to understand a little bit more when it comes to the, the, the drums, but I'm just going to do a quick little pattern just so you can kind of see what's going on. take that copy it and if you want to just drag it like that it's a you know just hold down option bow and then I can join that together by pushing pushing command J simple man you know what I mean from there you just want to play around with it you know what I mean like um, I could change up this melody too and bring it up an octave because t keep in mind this is still going to be a minor chord no matter where you play it because it's still using that formula of starting from the root then going up you know three half steps and then from that note going up four half steps and in on any key that's going to pretty much be a minor chord so I can take this up and put it on what is this note C, D, E, F, G, A, so it's an A sharp, or B flat, however you want to look at it. And so, you know, you can get different vibes just by dragging up the pattern to different places or different octaves on the keys uh, or within the grid here. So um, that's pretty much the, what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I will give you more in-depth tutorials on how to create melodies later, but I just wanted to give you a basics type of tutorial here. So make sure you like, comment on the video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.